Hello everybody and this is Michael. Um, in this video we will talking about the uh, um, schematic for the uh, actual low power Bluetooth basketball. Okay. So uh, last video we have introduced uh, this chip um, okay DA forty five A Five and it's from dialog and uh, the Bluetooth uh, chip. Okay, we decided to uh, design a basketball to play it, and uh, um, for the education purpose, also for uh, our projects. So, um, first thing we take a look the power supply. You will see here this is the battery three volt and uh, this is a uh, mm, battery uh, connector we will using the coin battery and uh, which also means uh, the bottom uh, the bottom battery which will be very small and uh, to uh, power supply this chip this chip have two more one is uh, like a um, three wall another one is like a, a less than uh, 1.5 volt so this is uh, one of the uh, one of the way to power of it and uh, you will see there is no any LDO or DC DC convert um, um, between the power supply and the chip all of the LDO and the uh, voltage uh, convert is inside the chip already okay so uh, this is antenna so we will using the onboard antenna and uh, okay and this is uh, clock this is crystal okay this is crystal this one is optional okay the imp uh, the interesting things you will see uh, usually for the uh, crystal they will have two capacitor here and here but for this chip the capacitor also be integrated inside the chip and the most interesting thing is you can adjust the value of the capacitor in the software uh, which means uh, you setting the different register for the um, capacitor you can connect a different crystal to, to match different crystal okay so um, let's take a look here so this is um, this is a fresh. Uh, this chip already have the um, internal OTP OTP fresh OTP memory. The OTP memory means you can write for one time, and uh, then you you only can read it out. The benefit for the OTP memory is uh, it it responds very fast. And it uh, consume uh, few power than the regular fresh. It it means you can uh, save more power for your system. So it makes the whole system is uh, is lower the the, the fresh. But uh, um, it uh, can only write for one time. If you need uh, like uh, debug and uh, you need to um, uh, adjust uh, your system so we added one uh, outside fresh to support it you can write uh, your software into the uh, outside fresh for many times and once your project is fixed um, then you can write the software inside the inside the room and uh, save the fresh and uh, cost down your project also improve your uh, devices power performance which means uh, the power the battery will be uh, last for longer time okay so notice here we also give the chip as a CS pin CS means the select pin 
um, usually you can sometimes you can direct uh, to um, connect it uh, to high power uh, high voltage or low voltage to fix the uh, select pin but we added a special pin to select the chip and the benefit of it so you can uh, fresh or read the um, outside fresh you can save the code in this fresh and also you can uh, use the select pin and uh, share the SPI interface with other with other devices means you can use this to control you can use the SPI interface to control other devices just to change the CS pins uh, levels okay and we uh, and we output when we uh, output all the pins into this connector so you will see there is uh, P0 port P1 port and the P2 port so we out our wire out all the pin into a connector so we will have a chance to use all the pin to control other sensors and uh, this is uh, the debug interface so this is the debug interface debug interface and the power supply and the ground okay we also give it to uh, one LED and one key uh, to to let the uh, let let the ball have the inter have a way to uh, uh, show some information, edit the interrupter, or uh, show some uh, debug information by the LED. Uh, by the LED. Okay, so for every system, the most uh, famous. Uh, uh, the example is the LED Hello World. Okay, so may when when the when the system, when the ball is ready, maybe we will try the LED Hello World for the for the first program. Okay, so this is the ball and uh, uh, schematic for the uh, for the for the basketball. So we will try to uh, lay out it. So next time we we are talking about the layout of the ball. Okay. Uh, thank you for your watching. See you next time. This is Michael. Thank you.